everyone, Rochelle here, and today I'm here to share with you all some more crochet stuff. Okay, so I have some finished objects, some whips, and some stuff that I bought. Of course, yarn related as usual. So, let's get started. Okay, works in progress. As you all know, I'm a huge football fan. Too bad about my Panthers this year, but hey, I'm still proud of them. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so... What I've been making, um, I made some headbands because I was trying to find something to wear to the Super Bowl party, but none of the patterns I saw I liked, so I was like, okay, I will create something myself, and that is what I did. And I'm going to show you the finished project uh, just a little later on, but I am going to show you the work in progress of the one that I'm working on at the moment. So, this is... The headband that I'm working on at the moment, kind of tied up, <clears throat> and it has the Panthers colors, and the colors are Red Hot with Love, Blue Hawaii, White, Gray, well Pewter, and Black. And I'm still working on it right now, so I've still got some attached. I am making this using a G-hook. 4.25 milligrams and so I'm currently working on that one okay also another work in progress that I'm working on is I am participating in the 2016 ugly blanket challenge and I believe Ming Mao on YouTube and Yarn Yenta on YouTube, they were the ones that let me know about it. And of course, I had to participate because it would be a great way to use up scraps, which I have a lot of. Like, you all can go back to my scraps video and I have like a whole little basket of just uh, scrap pieces that I didn't want to throw away. So this is the progress I made so far. And the way it works is that you do a 12 inch square, 12 by 12 inch square each month. And then I guess at the end of the year, you put it all together and see uh, what kind of ugly blanket you got. And so I was a little late getting to the challenge. Um, so I have done February and January. And I'm going to post these on Instagram later on. So this is the first square. It's made with a lot of different yarns. I mean, there's Red Heart and uh, Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Um, Karen, uh, Lilies, not Lilies, um, Impeccable by Michaels. Yeah, there's a lot of colors in here. <clears throat> and it was so funny because my husband, he was like, you know, honey, I usually like everything that you make. But that that you're making right there is just ugly. And I was like, yes, that's the point. It's supposed to be ugly. <laughs> so that was actually a compliment. And uh, I haven't finished weaving in the ends. Like, that's going to be a nightmare. But we'll address that later. And so I'm not quite sure what color I'm going to do the border in yet. I'll figure that out later. Because I want to do a nice border so I can join the squares together. But anyway, so this is January. And I didn't think it was that ugly, but for this challenge, that's awesome. Okay, so that's January. And here is February. I tried to group the same type of uh, texture yarn. Like, everything is number four worsted weight, um, except for the impeccable, maybe a three. I'm not sure, but anyway, um, because I use mainly, like, Red Heart Super Saver in this one, it's a little bigger than this one, but by the time I put a border on them and sew them together and stretch them out, they'll be the same size. So I am so excited to piece these all together. Like I said, this is February. It's a 12 by 12 inch square. But yeah, it, I'm really enjoying this challenge because I am using up all of my scraps. And I've actually used up um, all of my scraps. So I've started on the square for March, but I was only able to get this far. 
I end it with this pretty turquoise aqua color. I think it's Red Heart Classic. But anyway, so this is how far I've gotten on March Square. And so as I collect scraps from different projects, I'll just keep adding on. So yeah, this is going to make a pretty ugly blanket. And I'm really excited about it. Okay, so let's see. What else? Oh yeah, I went to Walmart because I'm making some more headbands and I tried to get some more colors. So I went and I bought Red Heart with Love Black and White. And I bought these buttons from Walmart. The great thing about these buttons is that they're only 88 cents and you get you get six in here. And they're like almost, they're over an inch. Yeah, they're nice buttons. So you get six for 88 cents, which I thought was a good deal. Now, let me show you all what I'm using these buttons for. I'm super excited about what I'm about to show you. Ta-da! This is what I wore to the Super Bowl party. Everybody loved it. Everybody wanted to take it. Yes, I'm talking to you, Janelle. Everybody wanted to take this. But it's made in Red Heart with Love, Blue, Hawaii, Black, Pure, White. And it has two large buttons on it. Now these blue buttons were the only ones that I was that I had with me. I think if I do it again, I may do the white buttons. Because this blue, this blue is a little dark, but it served a purpose. So I think I may do white buttons next time. But I totally made this up by myself, designed it myself. And also there's a little football on the side. And the great thing about using a double crochet to make this is that the buttons can go in any um, hole. So if you have a smaller head, you can adjust it. And, you know, I have big hair, so that works for me because somebody else may need it to be smaller. But yeah, I absolutely love it. And I'll post some pictures at the end of this video with me wearing my headband. And the football is made with Red Heart with Love chocolate and white. Okay. So, of course, I had to make something for my husband to wear to the big game. So, I made him this. And, yes, he special requested this, and he wanted the pom-pom on top. He really liked the pom-pom. But these are made with the same colors, blue Hawaii, black and white. And it fit him very well. Look at that pom-pom. So I'm really happy about the way that this turned out. The last hat that I made was a request. It was an order. And the person requested a Philadelphia Eagles hat. So I looked up a Philadelphia Eagles hat. And I will insert a picture of the hat that I was inspired by right here. Okay, so you all just saw the picture that I was inspired by. I hope that I got pretty close. It is made with um, Red Hot with Love, Black, White, and Pewter. And it's made with a Hobby Lobby Green. Um, okay. Yes, this is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And the color is Forest. The color is forest. And I had actually originally bought this because I was going to make a New York Jets inspired hat. But when I got it home and looked at the green, I was like, this is more like an Eagles color. And so I was really happy that somebody wanted an Eagles hat because I was able to use up that yarn. But as you can see, it also has a pom-pom on the back. And so I hope that the customer really likes it, because I do. It's really nice. 
And of course, it has a rolled up brim. And it can be taken down, like so. Or you can roll it up, depending on the way you want to do it. And also, my husband's hat has a very wide brim on it. You can take it down. I kind of like the slouchy look. Let me pull it down some. If I was wearing it, I was wearing, I would wear it like this. So it's kind of a hat that, you know, it can be used for different looks. And I kind of drew inspiration um, for this hat from another pattern. But then I was like, well, I want to make it my own. So I added to it and came up with my own design. So yeah, this is how it looks as a slouchy. So I actually prefer it this way. If I was wearing it, it would be this way. But it's really easy. If you want to make it back into a, a brim hat. Really simple. Just like that. Okay, so the last thing that I want to show you all is my progress with my Bob Wilson 123 Crochet Along. As you all know, she is making a cardigan and I'm so behind. Like, I hadn't even finished one of the sleeves yet. But I'll show you all my progress anyway. Okay. Oops. <clears throat> so this is what I've done so far. And my colors are Red Heart Classic, Eggshell, um, Nickel, and Lily Pink. It's turning out really well. As you can see, I've started on the sleeves. Now, Claire has a very interesting way of joining the two colors. Um... Basically, you're striping all the way down the sleeve. But I have a feeling that I am going to end up doing the sleeves in one color. Like, I'll probably do one row of pink, um, a row of eggshell, and then another row of gray. And then after that, I'm probably just going to do eggshell all the way down. Because it, it kind of takes a little time to switch the colors back and forth. Um, but I'm ready to finish this. <laughs> And um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I, I have a feeling that I'm going to end up doing um, the sleeves in one color. Now, it's a little too big for me, and that's not the pattern's fault. But when I, I'm kind of like in between sizes, and so if I had went a size under, it, would, it may have been too small. So I decided to go a size up, and I ended up making it a little too big, but... I'll try on what I do have. Let's see. Let me undo this stitch marker. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, it's a little too big, but that can be fixed. I could pull it in. Like, as you can see, it's, <laughs> it's way too big. But that's okay, though. I think my sister-in-law wants it. But I'm excited. And what's cool is that I have never, ever made a garment for myself. And I told myself that is one of my 2016 goals, craft and arts and craft goals is to make a garment for myself and so this is my first one so thank you Claire and if I make it again I'm definitely gonna go down the size but yeah it's nice and my goal or my purpose for this is to use at work because it gets really cold at work sometimes and so I want to keep this at the office like on the back of my chair and um, it'll keep me warm so yeah Okay, you can twist it up. Alright, so that is all that I have to share with you all today. Oh, wait, there is one more thing. Yes, I had made um, a black scarf 
and it was an order and I've already given it to the customer and so I'm going to insert a clip um, just of me you know randomly talking about it and so here's the clip I hope y'all have a super awesome day please enjoy the rest of the video bye hello everyone Michelle here and I am sharing with you all some crochet stuff now I have a project to show you all on this jury day it's about five o'clock in the afternoon and it's dark and dreary and rainy so if you hear some background noise it's the rain it's like a torrential downpour outside so I just wanted to get on camera really quickly and share with you all this project that I'm working on it is a scarf well not working on it's finished here it is Now you may be thinking, whoa, that scarf is super long. Well, it is. It's seven feet long. And it's seven feet long because the person that I'm making it for is about six foot four. And he wanted something that he could wrap around several times. So I heard that if you're making a scarf for someone, you should make the scarf the length of their, um, the length of their body. And so that's what I did. So yes, it is six feet, seven feet long and I would say let me get my tape measure it is it's about seven inches wide so seven by 84 inches it's really nice and it's something that you can wrap around once or twice or even three times if you would like so, the yarn that I used was Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn, and it is in the color black, and uh, it has, it's a 7 ounce skein, and I used all except this little bit. And the pattern that I used was called the Let's Win Scarf by Red Heart. It is available as a free pattern on their website. Um, what size? I used the size J hook so it's a project that goes by rather quickly so yeah size J hook it ended up taking me a hundred and twenty four rows to do this project but the great thing about the pattern is that they wrap well the pattern is made to like 54 inches but if you want to continue all you have to do is add more rows so it's really easy to customize so yeah that is my quick project that I wanted to get on camera and show you all. And so I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye.